Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here. Happy to come back to you guys with a Minecraft Forge 1.6 uh, install guide. So how to install Minecraft Forge for the most current version of Minecraft. Now, this is for Minecraft 1.6.1, but if the title says it's working, if the description is updated with the links, this will continue to work for all the different versions of Minecraft. This is completely different from the way you used to install it with the previous versions of Minecraft all the way down to Minecraft 1.0, and uh, it, it, it is different. So, uh, but it's not that difficult. It's actually a little bit easier, I, I would personally say. So, anyway, the two things you're going to need is you're going to need the Minecraft uh, launcher. So, this, is, this right here is the new Minecraft 1.6 uh, launcher that they use as you guys can see I'm gonna open it up and boom it does this minecraft launcher thing and this is actually minecraft forge installer now I'm gonna show you guys how to install this so I will leave this link in the description you guys can go down there and check it out pretty much what it's going to do is it's gonna give you all these different downloads and because there is no recommended build at this point in time if there is a recommended build that's 1.6.1 or 1.6 whatever the version of minecraft uh, you are running is then you can go with that one but right now we're gonna have to go with the latest because this is really really new so right now we're gonna go select minecraft versions 1.6 it's gonna give you two different versions both of them are the latest build and from there you're gonna click on installer now um, I'm going to turn this off of you guys I, I literally turned adblock on for this purpose because I've gotten uh, other people telling me that it's not working like the download doesn't work in forum posts and stuff like that uh, you need to pause adblock okay and then you need to go to installer for some reason a lot of people are having problems if you have adblock on so Continuing from there, you have AdFly, it's going to tell you to wait 10 seconds or whatever, or it might not do this. You can click continue, and you're going to have to download it. So we're going to wait 5 seconds, we're going to see this ad pop up and all that good stuff. And there we go, skip ad. And then we're going to keep. So it's going to ask you if you want to keep it or not, it's just because it does not trust the file type, it's a jar, it's something that could house a virus. So uh, it's going to tell you that you're going to keep it, and then you're going to download it. From there, uh, this is the exact same file we have right here, exact same. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to right click it, you're going to go open with, and you're going to go to Java TM platform SE binary. What it's going to do is it's just going to run it uh, as a program opposed to open it in something like WinRAR or 7-zip. Uh, if you guys don't have that option, you can go open. Uh, or sorry, it's already chose the default platform. Uh, you're going to go open with, choose default program, and then you'd select it from there. It's Java platform SE binary. So you guys would search for that. So I'm going to open it with that. And then it's going to pop up with the installer. With this installer, all you need to do is click OK because uh, you're installing client. If you're installing a server or you just like to extract it and you don't have something like WinRAR, then you would click one of the other options. But right now for what we're doing, uh, you just click OK. From there, it's going to immediately say successfully installed client profile. Forge mod loader is going to tell you the launcher uh, or the launcher version and all that stuff. From there, we're going to go here. We're going to type RUN, so run. We're going to open this up and then we're going to type percent app data percent just like any other time you're going to install mods or anything like that. We're going to type that in. So the first thing that you guys need to do is go to your .minecraft folder and you need to get rid of your mods. So uh, these were my mods that I had previously in Minecraft 1.5.2. You need to either delete those, rename the folder, do something because that will break this entire process. The other thing is go to your core mods folder. If there's anything in there, get rid of them because if it's still in there, both the, your old version of Minecraft, the 1.5 and the 1.6, run off the same .minecraft folder. So they will conflict if you still have old mods in there. So that is a huge source of error now after you guys have cleared up both those things what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to versions there's a folder in there called versions and you're gonna open that up and then there's gonna be this thing so we're gonna delete this temporarily that's that's basically what we're gonna uh, try to do we're gonna go to this folder this is forge and then whatever the version of launcher is so you're gonna open up that folder and you're gonna see two files in there what you're gonna do is you're gonna click both of those files and you're gonna right click and you're going to copy so you're gonna copy both of these files you're going to go back out into the versions folder and you're going to make a new folder. That new folder, you can name whatever you guys want. You can name it, you can name it, you know, guys, you can name it, you know, Dr. PSN. You guys can name it whatever you want. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to name it mod. Mod. That's it. Just mod. Because this is going to be the version, the instance of Minecraft that I'm running, which has mods in it. And I would put an S on it, but it's just one extra letter to type. And I'm lazy. So we're going to go into that mod folder and then we're going to actually paste uh, those two files. So we're going to paste them and then we're going to select them both. We're going to right click, 
rename, and then we're going to type the exact same thing. Not You can't have a capital different, you can't have a space, you can't have another letter, exact same thing, mod. So we just named both of those files mod. There's the GSON file, and then there's the mod file. This is the Forge mod loader jar. This is uh, something a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, and we're going to open that. Then it's going to ask you what you want to open it with. What we're going to do is we're going to click Notepad. So we're going to open it up as a Notepad file so we can view all of this good text right here. Now the first, the like the first line with actual text, there's this bracket up here. This first line with actual text, we're going to highlight that. It says Forge and then the version number. You're going to change that to the exact same thing that you changed the other two things to. Mod. That is it. No extra letters, no space, no nothing. Then you're going to go up here, File, you're going to go Save, and you are done. That, that is basically the gist of what you have just done. And from there, you know, you can use your mods, uh, you can go into your mods folder, you can throw mods in there, you can do all that great stuff, uh, and yeah. so. That's pretty much it guys, uh, if I'm going to launch Minecraft for you guys to show you guys that it has indeed worked. Uh, what you guys need to do actually from here, there is one more step. You will need to edit profile, so you guys, I'm, I can just go make a new profile right now and we'll call this tutorial. Uh, so tutorial, we're going to go down from here and then you need to choose release mod. So that is what you guys need to do. Once you choose release mod, you can save profile. We're going to go down to tutorial, I'm going to go log in. Uh, and then... There we go, and we're gonna play. Oh, that was wrong. Uh, and now we're gonna go play. It's going to run everything, and then it will launch up for us. So that is it, guys. Hopefully this did help you guys out. I really hope this launches properly, or else this is gonna be really embarrassing. Um, but yeah, as you guys see, there we go. We got our three mods are loaded, like here. You guys can go check out all the new mods on the Minecraft forums, Planet Minecraft, all that great stuff. Check out some mods, install them. But hopefully, you guys, this did work for you. If you guys, if it did, remember to like the video down below. Comment down below if you guys have run into any problems, and I will try and troubleshoot for you guys. Uh, and yeah, so this should work for future versions. Anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Peace.